Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some firewalls and antiviruses, what the key differences between these two are and how exactly they're connected. Most people nowadays can't tell the difference between major protection software like VPNs, firewalls, and antiviruses because they essentially have the same goal of protecting you and your data. Firewalls and antiviruses specifically have pretty much the same purpose, yet they work at different times and using different methods. And so I'll be explaining what these two do individually and talking about the connection between the two. Now, if you're torn between the two, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that also come packed with firewalls in the description and down below, along with some discounts, so be sure to check these out. Okay, so let's start this off by explaining what an antivirus does. Basically, an antivirus would have a database of viruses and malware, as well as how to detect and neutralize them. When any file enters your system, the antivirus program will scan it and compare it to its code to the database it has. If it finds any matches, it will alert you of the issue and remove the malware. Nowadays, however, most modern antiviruses have a reactive-based function as well. Basically, it doesn't need to scan the file's code to figure out if there's an issue or not. Instead, it monitors the behavior of your programs and files. And should it detect any abnormal behavior, it would scan the problematic file and remove any threats. Also, when it comes to virus and malware databases, antiviruses update them on a regular basis in order to protect you from any zero-day threats. And that's extremely important given the fact that over 450,000 pieces of malware are being detected every single day. Another thing I would like to mention is that unlike firewalls, which do one single task that I'll get into in just a bit, antiviruses do several other protection tasks that are not exactly related to malware detection. For example, most top antiviruses offer a safe web feature that protects you from phishing attempts, dodgy sites, and suspicious links while using the internet. Another thing these antiviruses offer is a VPN that would encrypt your internet traffic. Now let's talk about firewalls. First of all, unlike antiviruses that work on an application level, Firewalls work on the network level. This means that they deal with information before it even gets to your device from the internet. Their primary purpose is to establish a barrier between a trusted internal network and untrusted external networks, such as the internet. So how exactly do they work? Well, firewalls use a set of rules or policies to filter network traffic. These rules dictate which traffic is allowed to pass through and which one should be blocked. Firewalls can inspect data packets and make decisions based on criteria like source and destination IP addresses, port numbers, and protocols. There are two main types of firewalls, packet filtering and stateful inspection. Packet filtering firewalls examine individual packets of data and make decisions based on their characteristics, while stateful inspection firewalls keep track of the state of active connections and make decisions based on context of the traffic. And as I mentioned earlier, firewalls primarily operate at the network layer, making sure that traffic is allowed or blocked at the IP address and port level. This helps protect the network from unwanted intrusions and potentially harmful network traffic. So what exactly is the difference between antiviruses and firewalls? First of all, in terms of scope, firewalls focus on network traffic control and protect against unauthorized access and data leakage, while antivirus software is concerned with detecting and removing malicious software on individual devices. Secondly, firewalls work at the network layer, policing things before they get into your device, while antivirus software operates at the application layer, scanning things as they get into your device or are already present. Other than that, antiviruses are mainly software-based, while firewalls can either be software or hardware. Lastly, firewalls use rule-based or context-based decisions to filter traffic whereas antivirus software relies on signatures, heuristics, and behavior analysis to identify and quarantine malware. So to sum it up, firewalls and antivirus software are both really important for comprehensive cybersecurity. Firewalls offer network level protection, while antivirus software protects individual devices against malware. Combining these two layers of security is the best practice for a great defense against digital threats. Now, it's worth mentioning that a lot of antiviruses also offer great firewall solutions at the same time. And I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I personally trust and recommend for this in the description down below. 
along with some discounts, so make sure to check that out. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love interacting with you guys. That would be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.